Hello y'all, welcome to part 2 of my Yugoslavia playthrough in New Era Old World, a Crusader Kings 2 mod set in a post-apocalyptic Europe, and we're playing as Edmund II. In part 1, we fought Romania, or tried to, while well, we sort of got interrupted by Transnistria, who intervened in our war. We took over parts of Banat, and we lost a tributary, but we gained a tributary in a former Udine, but Hellas broke away from us, caused her fighting our other other tributary north macedonia which is led by alexander alexandros ii here and our goal for this video is to expand and take istanbul maybe let me see my holy sites for my religionism so we need to capture what okay rome where else let me see so it's held goodness gracious i gotta get israel rome where else that, oh, that's an Istanbul. Okay, that's, we can do that. Oh, for a chrono. That's all the way in Russia. Our religion and basically Yugoslavism. Yugoslavist? It is a mix. It's a syncretic faith of... What is it? Catholicism, Orthodoxy, and Sunni Islam, which may explain why the religious sites are sort of spread around in Russia and Italy and then in the Middle East. So, let's get some mercenaries. I'm going to send them down here to the provinces near Istanbul. The counties near Istanbul, I mean. Let's hire... Who do we have money for? we got to be careful. We don't want to spend too much money on mercenaries. Who can we get? Let's hire the... These guys. The Ramuva. Ramuva? Hunters? We'll hire them. Yeah, they're 12... No, 13. Some gold a month. We're going to have them. We're also going to raise our troops. So what we're going to do is declare war and see how badly this goes for us. This will be a holy war. Well, we got to wait slightly. We got to wait a few months. We have to wait till a little bit in control click to get rid of these notifications. We got to wait a few months because we got to wait for the recent holy war modifier to expire. Previously, in part one, we tried to wage a holy war on Romania. It didn't go well because, like I said. This mod's version of the Byzantine Empire, Transnistria, they were all the equivalent of the Byzantine Empire with the HRE of this mod. They intervened and ruined our war because they saved the Romanians. So we gotta wait for the time to come for us to attack Istanbul. When would that be? Let me check. The days are just flying by. Can we do it? We gotta wait until the 8th. No, July. No, June. Acre has been retaken by Israel in the Middle East. And there's some revolt going on over there. Karani Uprising. That is a Sunni heresy religion in this mod. So we gotta wait. Oh, what is this? The cook has prepared a fine meal. The priest preached about temperance. I satisfy my hunger with bread and water. And Edmund II, the guy we're playing as. Whoops, I enabled the plague, mode, plague disease map mode back. And Edmund II gained the trait temperate. And also his three wives seem to be doing relatively well. We have four kids. The oldest one that's legitimate is seven years old. We started off with an illegitimate son. He is 13 years old. Let's get him married. Arrange a marriage for him. Ah, let's wait till he's older. And do it. Yeah, let's just wait instead. Couldn't have him marry the princess of Armenia. Yeah, let's have him do that. I'm sure that'll end well. So our illegitimate son of Edmund II is going to get married to a princess of Armenia. So we gotta wait a little bit longer. Can we fight our holy war yet? I think we can. Let's go ahead and start sending our mercenaries down to Astradia, Astradia, and it will be near Thrace. What do you call it, Thrace? So we have our Remova hunters going down there. These Lithuanian mercenaries we hired, and obligate the vassal from getting out of a conspiratorial faction. Our uncle is doing something stupid. Okay, he said yes. We did pay him money earlier, so we should be happy somewhat. Can we wage this war now? Yes, we can. Will I regret this? Possibly. I hope I don't. They're fighting rebels at the moment. Let's gather our troops, summon all of our men, and let's get some mercenary. Well, not our mercenaries, but our tributaries involved. We have two tributaries. We have a Hungarian tributary and one in what would be Carinthia? Carinthia? Yeah, right here. He is our tributary, and so is this duke here. We're going to team up and fight the Ottomans. What well, about the Turks? We're just fighting Turks. 
our troops must assemble. Could go on the offensive before they gather up troops, but I don't know. Our truce is expiring with one of our tributaries. Somebody wants a nickname. First wife, you deserve a good name. The Loyal. We lost 50 prestige with that, but who cares? He is calling his allies to his aid. And our vassals are not happy about having their troops raised for this war. I'm sure they aren't. There's the Turks. The Istanbul troops. They have called allies to help them in this war. We gotta defeat them. Hopefully they'll fight us in piecemeal. The late knights, my spouse, Katuma, spouse, that's the Georgian, one of the Georgian... Georgian wives of Evan II. He has four wives. Okay, so that's worked out. We got some... While we're fighting a war, the... What is this? Typhus is going around in the counties we're fighting for, so that could be good and bad. Mostly bad, because it will devastate our army, possibly. And there's also a huge revolt going on here. And that is sort of benefiting us because that revolt is hostile to anyone that may try to cross through Istanbul. So we're taking these provinces. They're about to go attack our allies. They're about to be hit by an army. So who all is helping here? The ruler of Istanbul. He has help from the Duke of the Isle of Abistan. Abistan? And he has help from the... Who's this? B Bektashi Order, who is the Sunni Islam Holy Order. So let's group up our men. Let's wait for that battle to start and we'll go help them. Let's help them. Please go help. Who's this? Holy Ward, no. No, we're not gonna help with that. We gotta win a war ourselves. Okay, somebody is gonna get hanged. Doesn't matter. We have two battles. We won one battle. Let's go win the second one. Defeat these Sunni Islam troops. These Sunni Muslims. Hire someone to find out if Gulikul is cheating on the king. Edmund II, the Tsar of Yugoslavia. So we've nearly won our war. We may have to kill those. Kill the... What is it? The... The... Revolt to our east, possibly. That may have to happen. And the cheating situation continues with Edmund II's wives. We don't know for sure if anything's going on or what. But my, that's not my focus. I'm not focused on court intrigue right now. Or let me attach my allies' armies to mine. I'm not worried about court intrigue right now. I'm trying to focus on this war. She should rest. Some wife has to rest after having a pregnancy. My spouse is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Yeah, there's probably some shenanigans going on there, but like I said, it's not our priority right now to focus on all that stuff when there's a war. Let's build some buildings. Can we do that? Let's build some in box, which we conquered in part one. Let's build a keep. This belonged to the Duke of Alfold, or Budapest, or whatever. But we took it in part one. One of the first things we did there, we conquered that area. So, Sinophytophobus. Do we want to beat the rebels? We may need to do it to take Istanbul. Yeah, we're going to do that. Can we win this? I mean, usually the religious revolt armies and peasant revolt armies aren't that strong. Birth of the KGB. What is this? Word is spreading that a man named Vladimir Solon has found ancient lore that he connects with his ridiculous heresy, the Stalinist faith. Through secret training, his men have become lethal killers and have managed to seize a castle in western Russia. So good thing they're far away from us. Already, many of his open opponents have died in mysterious circumstances, all tracing back to this new organization that calls itself the KGB. Okay, that's a little concerning, but they're far away from us. Good thing they are. Got some events there. We're about to win this war. The KGB spread to the Baltic. As long as they don't come to Eastern Europe, I'm happy. Don't come to the Balkans. About to win our war. Are we? Yes, we have won. So let's end this war. We have won the Yugoslavian Holy War for Istanbul. We have taken Istanbul as the Yugoslavist faith. The Sunni Muslims have been driven. Um, the Sunni Muslim rulers have been driven from Istanbul. Let's close this out. We have a lot of titles to give out now. We're going to keep the city for ourselves. We only have so many vassals we can have, but we should be fine. So let me pick out some people. Probably want to give the land to marshals or commanders that don't hold any land. Let me look around. Let me get essential, whatever this role is. Do we have any people that don't do anything right now? They don't have any titles. Okay, this guy don't. He might die because he has cancer. That's sad. 
Let's give him Thrak. Thrace. We'll give him Thrace. Congratulations for your service. You get a county. So happy for you. We have a Serbian ruler there. We're going to hold Istanbul for ourselves. So let's get some... Just get some... Create new local vassals for the cities. And the... The... Create new vassals for the cities and the temples. We're going to keep the castles for ourselves. For ourselves. Klopopolis. Kylopolis? Let's get somebody for that. Who can we get for that place? Well, we have a sibling. He doesn't control any land, so we could give some land to him. We're going to give him, yeah, Kalopolis. That will be his for our one-eyed half-brother. We get all that. And let's give... What is this? Nicomedia. Nisomita. Nisomedia. We're going to give that to our illegitimate son of Edmund II, Ivan. He should appreciate it. He is betrothed to that princess of Armenia, so he is going to have some land now. So let's give him that. And we gave out all the land we conquered. We're going to still continue our drive east eventually, but now I think we're going to have to wait because the Holy War modifier has been activated due to the fact we waged a Holy War. So here we have, for example, the Sultan of Egg, each, whatever this title is. We can't declare a war. Yeah, we can't use a Holy War to attack. But it's whatever, at least we won this Holy War. We've only lost Holy War so far until now. A defensive pact has been formed against us. Oh no. We could actually, hold on, I have an idea. Since we can't wage Holy Wars, we could just extort tribute from neighboring realms. Yeah, let's just do that. Just extort tribute from as many places as possible to make Yugoslavia richer. Declare war? Oh, we can't do it. Transnistria conquered. It looks like Transylvania, so as they've expanded, we have expanded as well. Romania is just sort of the buffer state between us. What can we do? What do we plan to do? Who's this? Declare war, extort tribute. I accidentally hit the console button. Extort tribute from Thraki here. So let's get the mercenaries and prop, plop them down right next to the county that's next to him. Crisis of authority. Oh no, that's, that's relevant to us. Crisis of authority. The Yugoslavist religion has always been an un uncomfortable compromise intended to secure religious peace in the Balkans at last. At no point had many people actually believed in this syncretic admixture of Christianity and Islam, but most people have been persuaded to go along with the charade. Recently, however, a zealous preacher has been drawn to crowds of followers by preaching loudly that the truth is more important than peace and that we cannot simply blaspheme the word of God even if doing so lessens the spilling of blood. Prophesier Jared, who is our uncle, the uncle of Edmund II, has condemned the man, but few heed him. All eyes wait for the emperor to intervene, for it is his duty to support the Yugoslavist faith, and without him it is unlikely to weather this storm. This will be long and painful, so we get a... What do we get? We get a modifier called Boiling Realm, which gives us the following effects. Plus 6% national revolt risk, plus minus 20% national tax modifier. That's brutal. We need to get tributaries to make up for that lost income. And minus 8 vassal opinion, same religious opinion, plus 4. Would that be permanent? I don't know. Let's prop our army down, plop it right down right here. Next to Thrace. And council position. Let's get a new marshal. The chief of Sunzak. Where is he? Where is he at? Bosnia. He's a Bosnian ruler. So let's go to Thrace and extort tribute from them. Just all we want is tribute. We don't want anything else from you except for tribute. We don't want to kill you or anything. We just want you to pay us money and not hurt you. So let's raise our army up for this. They may not go quietly. Probably won't. All things considered. So we raised our army up. Assembly of the Brotherhood. The Whatever that is, that's in the Middle East. They've been assembled. Well, not in the Middle East. It's in. Where's that at? Where's that? Oh, in Eastern. That's in Eastern Anatolia. Egypt has, since Antivillian times, been a bastion of Islamic faith, and usually, whomever ruled Egypt was one of the premier powers of the Islamic world, and it is still home to the Al Ashahir University, the premier center of Islamic teaching. Teaching, given this importance, the recent incursion by infidels in Egypt have been an intolerable insult to the faithful 
in opposition to this outrage, a band of pious warriors have banded together, vowing to dedicate themselves to a fight against the infidels. So, it's in response to stopping the crusade, maybe. Egypt is heavily divided, if we look down to the south. Israel's the big power in the Middle East in this mod. And so, it, well, there's a lot of interesting countries in the Middle East. But Israel is one of them, the Assyrian Empire is another one of them, and so is, what is this, Barzani? Yeah. We're not going to worry about them though, considering our geopolitical position, just where we're at location-wise, we're not going to interact with them much, unless we really expand really far. Will he accept the tribute? Yes, he will. Thank you. We need more money for tributes. We need more tributaries. Expand the levees. Build up things. Build up Constantinople. At least we control two holy sites now. What's the nearest one now? Israel. That's very far away. So we have Italy, Israel, and Russia. I mean, Italy is more divided than Israel, I guess. We could try to eventually push now to the west more so than the east. But it would not be easy because we have to fight holy wars and all sorts of stuff like that. We're going to have to do, use nothing but fight holy wars and maybe... What is it? What can we have our vassals do? Our chancellor is going to fabricate claims on Veneto. Let's have him do that. So we're going to fight. We're going to eventually try to expand to the west. It will take some time, but we will make our way there. We need to capture Rome. Okrog of Calapus, Calapus has died. That was the half-brother of Edmund II. He died of typhus. I just realized, we could just send the people we don't like to govern provinces that have diseases, and they would die from that. And, who's this? What has she done? Adulteress. We can divorce her. Yeah, she's cheating on us. Yeah. So let's divorce her. Can we divorce her? It says no. Whatever. Yeah. She just had a son with some other guy in Georgia. I don't know what happened there. It's whatever. Let's get a new guy to rule that land. Maybe something we don't like. We could do that. Who's this guy? Blajoj. Blajoj? Whatever. You can be a commander of Calipus. Calipus? Now. So enjoy that. I don't want nothing else here. You can take the town as well. I don't need that. Thanks to that. Take that. Keep it treasure it, I don't care. So, we gotta just let time go by. That would be ideal. Some family in Ragusa went extinct, whatever. We need to get more money, so we need to extort more tribute. There's an Orthodox uprising. Stuff like this is gonna be inevitable because we have that, what is that, that boiling realm modifier. The national vote risk is very high. So, let's counter that Orthodox uprising by gathering our own troops. So, let's go deal with that. They're gonna maybe... The longer we wait, the worse off we are. It's gonna be defeated. Let's send troops in. I didn't mean to beat them that easily, but whatever. So, that fight is over. That war is over. And the guy who's in charge of Thrace died. Oh well. We gotta give that to someone else. That was... He died of cancer. That Yeah, he did have cancer. He had no heirs. So, what can we do? Let's first execute that leader of the Orthodox religious revolt because you can't challenge Yugoslavism and expect to survive. Execute. No one will care. Valid reason to do this. And Edmund II is now known as the Butcher for that execution, but okay. Abandon Yugoslavism. We can do that, which could be bad. It would get rid of the crisis, I reckon, but we wouldn't be religiously unified across the realm, so it might not be good if we did that. We want to try and keep Yugoslavism intact as a religion, as the number one faith, the official faith of Yugoslavia because it keeps religious peace. That is our goal. We must maintain that. So now I have to get a new vassal for Thrace. Who do I give that to? Let me find somebody. Let me get a really good commander. Just invite some guy. Search realm. I'm not, I could search all and do that. But let's just at least search our realm instead. Let's get this Serbian commander here. Invite to court. Also invite this guy. No, that's the best person in the realm. In all of Yugoslavia. 
congratulations, you're going to be a commander eventually, and you're going to be given some land, so congratulations there. You're welcome. Enjoy it, Saba. Just hold that place, and you'll be a commander when we need you. And try not to die in five seconds, because I'm not going to enjoy having to get a new count of that place every time someone dies. So let's dismiss our levies. We're just keeping our mercenaries around as, like, having them in retainer, just in case something goes horribly wrong. And they also keep down the factions that may want to try to gain power or want to put down elective succession or overthrow overthrow Edmund II. Speaking of Edmund II, let's make sure we have our son. Edmund II needs to be Edmund. Yes, he's the guy we have as a candidate. So if we die, that'd be bad. That's our uncle. If he dies, we'd be in a good position to have Edmund in power. Edmund III, his name would be. But we need the King of Croatia to die for that to happen. And he is Vladislav II. He is the uncle of Edmund II, who we are playing as. So there's a lot of realm politics we got to keep track of. My son, Jorof Ivan, has been hit by Typhus. Goodness gracious, I didn't, I didn't know he would die in Nysamita. Great. Well, it doesn't even have the... They don't even have Typhus spreading around there anymore. I'm just He's just afflicted with it. Do we have a trade post here? Let's get a higher level there. Go the trade post. Well, level it up. I mean, obligate the vassal and not do anything stupid. Reports of commanders are clear. Even your most loyal lo loyal warriors follow Heath and Pra- Your most loyal warriors follow Heath and practices and camps. Okay, what can we do? Hold Yugoslavist ceremonies in every camp. 6% the crisis will worsen. The crisis will get calmer. Calmer. We need to, like, maintain the realm. We need- We must keep Yugoslavism alive. Like I've said before, that is the goal. Okay, this is Boris, our son, Edmund II's son. Let's have a humility education for him. His focus, humility focus. So he's going to be doing that. We have, we're going to have a lot of sons for Edmund II, just on the basis he has like four wives. So he's going to have a lot of children no matter what. How is Ivan doing? He's alive. He is alive. I think he's 16 now, I think so. If I do, extort tribute, give me money. We need to get all the money from the tributaries. Because we're eventually going to push west. We're giving up on the east because there's no more holy sites. Well, there is holy sites there. But we need the... The... They're in Belgrade. Go kill them, please. There is a holy site in Rome. We need to take Rome as it, as it is a holy site for Yugoslavism. And it's closer than the holy site in Israel or in Russia. So we are keeping that in mind. We have... We're fighting on Catholicism here, I think. Whatever. They're weakening their own army, armies to do this. That's the Hospitalers, is it not? And there goes Ivan. Great. He's dead. He had no children. <sighs> Great. Nice of me to... Terrific. Terrific. Who's the chief? Who's this? Chief Physician, Chief Quadi of Yugoslavia. Do we give it to him? We could. Yeah, let's just give that to him. Congratulations, Doctor. You have land. You're, you're a count now. We're fighting the Catholics. I think they're Catholics. All this just to tribute, make someone a tributary of Yugoslavia. Defeated them. Got to fight another army now. Great. That's great. Some of the troops up here. My wife Dahlia is pregnant. That is the first wife of Edmund II. She is a Bosnian, for the record. And she is the daughter of the king of Bosnia, Herzegovina. So let's keep that in mind, maybe. Edmund II's uncle is the king of Croatia, and his main, his first wife is the daughter of the king of Bosnia. So let's move into this Alfold, get near Budapest. We need to just win here and make the enemy our tributary. We don't care for nothing else. We're not going to have our threat level go up because of this. We're just trying to get money. All we need is money. Go into Budapest now. Can we take it? They're attacking Croatia for whatever reason, but okay. Spies do work. 
Okay. We gotta be worried about the crisis. You have gained a chaotic realm modifier. Great. Great. That's bad. It's already trying to pick up tributaries to help defend Yugoslavia in case bad things go down. Maids must be dispatched. We're about to win. I think we are. Mother of Edmund II has died a natural death at the age of 64. Yeah, we have the Chaotic Realm modifier. I'm going to look at that in a second. Okay, there we go. Welcome to the tributary list. You want to give us money. The crowd is getting aggressive. You've gained the Boiling Realm modifier. Let me see. So let's disband this army. Boiling Realm. Oh, they're fine now. I mean, it's not Chaotic Realm, I guess. Where does that go off? We have to... Oh my goodness, we gotta just deal with this. We're gonna have religious conflicts a dozen very soon. I mean, we already had the Orthodox Uprising. We crushed that, but there might be a second one. Or there could be a Sunni Uprising eventually. Please save my son, court physician guy. So we have... We're making a good amount of money now to make up for our lost taxes. And Gavriel has died as an infant. That's the... That was the... What is that? The fourth son, or fifth son of Edmund II, who died at the age of zero. Which is sad, but that's how it goes sometimes. At least it does in Crusader Kings too. Can we fight the Austrians? Yes, we can. Can we extort tribute from the Austrians? Is there a defensive pact against us? Not really. We will eventually try to fight a holy war with Renetio over here and march east, I mean west, but right now we're going to have a holy war with a tributary war with the Austrians just to increase the wealth gain for Yugoslavia. We get about 20 gold every turn, well every month. We need to make that higher. Can we build anything in Belgrade? Biograd? Pastures, let's build pastures. Spacious pastures for cows. I need to have those pastures. Okay, Austrians, just accept the tributary position. I need money. We need to extort tribute from you. We want to summon the entirety of our empire, including all of our tributaries. An empire stretching from the Balkans to Istanbul. Well, not stretching from Slovenia to Istanbul. The Austrians, I hope, would just give up. They're not part of any factions. They don't have anyone to help them, I mean. So they're just going to fight and die, essentially. They're going to just lose their army for this if they, don't accept, if they don't accept surrender. Get a martial education for Prince Edmund, the son, the first son of, well, the second, first, the second son of Edmund II, but his heir. He's the legitimate heir of the kingdom. And we got to get him a wife, eventually. So here we have Habsburgs, maybe? Habsburg will reign. There's a lot of Habsburgs in this mod, I'm not going to lie. They're like tons of branches of those guys. Like, we're fighting Habsburgs right now. We could have a Habsburg wife at the same time we're fighting Habsburgs. That's just how many there are. And illness is spreading in Bach. We could close the gates. We're not going to do that right now. We're going to wait just a little bit. We're beating back the Austrians. Austrians are losing ground. Let's push into their territory on their capital in Vienna. Bring the Yugoslav army there and make them our tributary. This is what they get for... They could just extort accepted tribute. They just had to make this difficult, didn't they? We have the chaotic realm modifier again. That's not good. We gotta do more stuff to keep Yugoslavism intact. Intact. And pause. Let's win this war against the Austrians, maybe? I don't know. Actually, I'm going to end part two here. You can check out New Era Old World in the video description. The link is there. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like and subscribe.